Hey, this is Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. Well, the film I'm going to talk about right now is called Victoria and Abdul. Well, this stars Judy Dench as Queen Victoria and Ali Fezal as Abdul Kareem. First of all, let me give you this quick fact. Do you realize 80% or more of movie goers get their history from movies? And then sometimes it might spark a little interest and they might look it up and learn a little bit more. But I tell you the truth, I get some of my history from movies too because they bring out the idea, idea that I'm not thinking about. And then I go, th go and research it some more. Well, this one about Victoria and Abdul, I never thought about this one. It was never put in my mind here as a queen in the, in the 1800s, around 1870s. Well, this is just before she died around that time. And uh, I never even think about Queen Victoria. Not at all. And India, yeah, I think about India all the time. In fact, once or once a, twice a month, I go eat Indian food. Now, as the film opens up, Victoria and Abdu, it states right there on it, it says, based on real events, mostly. What do they mean by that? Well, the writer is Lee Hall. He wrote the screenplay, but it's based on a book by Sharambe Basu. So there is a book about this. Well, Abdul Kareem, played by Ali, well, he uh, was a um, guy who worked in a prison taking down prisoners' names. So he and another guy named Mohammed, remember this is 18, uh, 1867, yeah, around 1867, 1868. This is when the British took over India. They would colonize in other words, the British went in and did whatever they want, took whatever they want, and told the people, you got to act like us. Oh, but you don't look like us, but we want you to act like us anyway, and we still going to treat you like crap. So, uh, Abdul and Mohammed, they was chosen to go to England to present Victoria, Her Majesty, uh, with a gold coin minted in India. It's the first one, the first time they ever done that. Something for the queen, not for the people, but for the queen. So, you know, Abdul goes there and, you know, there's some moments they show Queen Victoria eating with the court that she's around. You know, when she finished her meal first, when they're done too, no matter how slow they're eating, but if you notice, though, in that scene, she's eating alone, not talking to anyone. Then she finishes her food, and then they have to go to the next meal. So when that's all over, Abdul, well, he was instructed not to look at her face, anything like that. But what does he do when he finishes? Well, he kisses her feet, and then she feels something for the young man. She was interested with him. She wanted to talk to him, and then she spent time with him alone they spent time together alone well also in this film too it showed that the queen had really no say in the government she couldn't go nowhere you know for fear for her safety and she's really a prisoner in her own castle and things like that but she had no privacy you know they wanted to know when she pooped when she peed uh who she's with who she's not with, what time she went to bed. They, they marked all that down. But the queen, she starts, you know, enjoying Abdul's company. In fact, she elevated him a little bit more to a teacher and things like that. But, you know, the people in her inner circle hated it. You know why? Because he was lower class, no money. He was Indian and he was dark skinned. And that inner circle included, uh, Michael Gambon, the actor, as uh, the Prime Minister, Lord Salisbury, uh, Olivia Williams as Baroness Churchill, Paul Higgins as Dr. Reed, also her son, played by Michael Izzard, he played Bertie, the Prince of Wales. They all was jealous of this guy, you know, and I don't know what they were afraid of. I mean, he wasn't going to become king or prince or anything like that. In fact, the more the, the queen did for him, the more and more they hated him. And shows you the king had the queen had no control over 
own court of people and also really of her life. Well, could you learn something from this movie? Of course you can, just a little bit. But what you learn is that Judy Dench is still a great actress, even though she's in her 80s, playing a woman who's in her 80s, and she's still very good. And the costuming and the sets in this is, is wonderful to watch. I thought that was the most impressive part. But many times with these type of movies about the queen or king of England, the costuming is very good and things like that. But they never show them taking a bath, do they? Or show them sitting on a uh, bucket to, to take a crap. Never in those movies. And that's how they used the bathroom back then. And also Ali Fatal, he, uh, Fazal, he did a great job too as Abdul Kareem. Well, I'm going to give this three palm trees because of the performances and the history of it. And I'm glad this was presented to us in a movie. And now I'm going to look it up some more to see was this really real. And I'm going to enjoy reading about this. Victoria Nabdu, you will enjoy the movie also. I hope you get a chance to see it. You know, it's going to be limited release, but see it. Hey, I'm Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. Thanks for watching me. I really appreciate it. This is your entertainment ticket. Latest and greatest.